Uh, we're talking now about story brand. We're getting close to the end. Thanks guys for sticking around. Love to have you here. So like back in the day, I was a journalist and I was writing like dozens of stories, uh, hundreds, even thousands of stories. And um, I always felt like a little lost about how to tell a story. And, and I knew that there was like a structure to story. I had heard this, you know, whispers of this, et cetera. I went and got a master's degree and that's what I studied, the structure of story. I studied, you know, Joseph Campbell. I studied Carl Jung. It all started with Aristotle's po uh, poetics. And I it spent six years studying this stuff. And then meanwhile, some dude named Donard Miller was basically kind of boiling this all down uh, into a book uh, that really summarizes the main things that you need to know about story structure when you're telling business stories. So he did that really hard work of taking the theory from the Aristotle and Joseph Campbell and boiling it down into a methodology that really works. And that methodology he calls story brand. Um, and he wrote a book called Building a Story Brand. We'll throw the link into the chat. And there's really just two quick things I want you to know. In this hero's journey, which every movie we've ever seen tells a version of, the classic being, of course, Star Wars, you have a hero who faces a challenge, gets help with a mentor or a guide, an Obi-Wan or a Yoda, and then they defeat, you know, the Empire. And that story is the story of all of our lives. You know, Alice in Wonderland, you know, you venture out, you go down the rabbit hole, and then you come back to your safe space in the, in the garden changed forever right? That, that is the structure of story. That is really the structure of how we learn as human beings in the, in the world. And, and we are the heroes of our stories, which means that your customer is the hero. Your customer is the character going through this journey. And you, you are the guide. You're the Obi-Wan. You are the Yoda. You are the one who helps them get from here to there. That's story brand in a nutshell. And the story brand script, which um, Nicole is going to show you now how to build, is basically a way of creating content for your website, for your marketing material, for your emails that calls on these timeless storytelling principles and leverages them for you to position yourself as the expert who's going to guide them from whatever their unmet need is. So you, the owner of the business, positions yourself as a guide and as a mentor to help your customer solve a problem. That's really the essence of the story brand technique. Okay, so I created something for you and I put a link to this in the chat. Um, I use ChatGPT. I have it switched over to four. I have the paid version and the paid version is much, much better when you're writing copy. I mean, it's much better for probably everything. Um, that accuracy is a lot better. So I use GPT-4 and I created a brief version of this because you're not going to get the whole story in a prompt because GPT loses its mind a bit and it <laughs> goes off the rails. It, it can't focus for that long. Um, so we created, I did this while I was listening and answering questions earlier on this session, um, the seven question brand story prompt, and this is an AI PRM prompt. There's a link. I'll post it again in the chat. And you want to make sure you're on GPT-4 inside your paid version with the AI PRM plugin. And if you go to public, you can search, you can just search the number seven because, oh, now there's more people using seven. There was nobody else using seven when I started it. But there's the seven question brand story prompt. We've had 14 eyeballs on it already in four uses just since I put it up an hour ago. Um, and then I'm gonna click on that template and it asks me the first question, what's your business name? And so I answer AI Smart Marketing and it asks me who's your hero, which is your customer, um, busy business owners, um, what's the problem? So it asks me seven questions to get to 
a really condensed, simple version of the story brand. And in the prompt, I ask it to give me headlines, taglines, and elevator pitches. So with this, you'll get a list of 10 headlines that are, according to your brand story, a list of 10 taglines that are in alignment with the story. And you can change your voice. After you read this, you might ask it to add some humor, or you might ask it to be more persuasive. There are different ways of recrafting these once you have it drafted to retain the voice that you have. We did some humorous ones and I love those so much. There were only a couple that we'd actually use, um, but we added some humor into this after we got our first versions. Um, then it gives me elevator pitches. I asked for two, this prompt gives you two 150 word pitches and it gives you two 75 word pitches. And then I decided I needed an about us paragraph. So in chat GPT, it doesn't keep your voice. It doesn't keep your information outside of the chat that you're in. So every time you have to redo a chat, you need to reprompt it with your brand voice and brand information. And so then I said, asked it to do an about us paragraph. It wrote a nice little about us paragraph. I can copy and paste this and use it, this on my website. And any other of the brand story kind of content I might need for my website, I could ask it to write a sales page on a particular product and ChatGPT will do that. And it will use the, the story that it's created based on my customer being the hero. And in here, I can, because I have the AI PRM plugin that I pay for, um, I also have various words to describe my tone of voice. <laughs> it's got Michelle Obama in here because I use that one. Um, so I could use Michelle Obama. That's really funny. Um, and then writing style. Sometimes you're going to write in um, analytical, academic. You might have it be informative, instructive. You might have it be persuasive. So you could be using the same story and just the context changes a little bit. So I could say to do a paragraph that's persuasive about our course. And it's going to use the information that I've already given it and change it to a persuasive situation. Um, because when, in having like Wendy describe the types of content, we don't want to be salesy all the time. We don't want to be persuasive all the time. We want to be informative sometimes. So you can retain that same story and the same voice and change it to be an informative writing style. And AI can help with that. So if you have a landing page that's persuasive and you wanna turn it into an informative blog post, you can do that with ChatGPT and retain the voice. So it's a tool that will help shortcut um, getting the kind of content with the heart and retaining your brand essence, which is a, it's really important that with AI we, we continue to keep the brand. Because for me, every moment that a customer interacts with a brand, whether it's online or in person, is an opportunity for emotional connection. And then we go back to these six basic emotional needs. And if you can satisfy these emotional needs through your content and your connection points, then you're gonna have people emotionally connected to your brand for a long time if you keep satisfying these emotional needs. And so I, we use AI for everything. And we also do our best to keep the heart in what we do as well. So this is, I could go on and show you some more, but I think um, if everybody can find your voice during this time, like that's the homework is to find your voice and do your brand story. We also have a brand voice sort of think sheet that we created, and I can give you guys a link to that as well. Um, so we have prompt examples in here, and we've got a list of description of different tones of voice. Um, and you could just Google for a list of adjectives and decide what kind of voice you wanna have and craft craft your voice so that everybody who is 
using AI can be consistent on the same page with you. And that's it. That's it thank for me. Thank you, Nicole. God, we could go on forever. I know that we're coming up against time. You know, thank you guys. Uh, let us know. Uh, in the chat and through the poll, if this is meeting your expectations, we're here, you know, trying to do our best to give you some great information and a great service. You know, Nicole is sort of like a marketer from the future who's like come back in time to tell us about what she's been uh, up to in the future and where we're all headed. Uh, and our job is to just try to uh, catch up with her. Uh, and, uh, you know, Wendy, uh, you know, someone who really kind of understands um, the, the power of content to, to really transform a business um, and uh, really feel uh, blessed. And then, you know, Jeff, of course, you know, our resident uh, tech geek uh, guy who um, has forgotten more about generative AI than I'll never know in my lifetime. Um, you know, that's the team uh, that came here today to um, really, um, you know, show, show us what's possible.